First, we're going to talk about the requirements for the external hard drive. It has to be USB 3 or later, and it has to have a minimum of 250 gigs and a maximum of 8 terabytes capacity. Now, you only can use one external hard drive at a time. If you try to use two, you'll get an error message. So only use one at a time. PS4 had licensed a Seagate external hard drive as the official external hard drive for the PS4, but you can use any external hard drive as long, long as it meets the requirements, especially at a 3.0. The second thing you have to do after that is you have to change the application install location, meaning you have to switch to where you want your games being installed on the PS4 system storage or on the external hard drive. The first thing you do is you go back over the settings. You go all the way down to storage. And inside storage, if you see right here to the right where it says application install location. So right now, if you download a game, it's going to download on your system. If you want to change that so it goes directly to your storage, you can go hover over your storage, wherever that is. And what you do is you press the option button and then you click X. And then you can change this from extended storage or you can leave it how it was in your system storage. Now, what I would advise to do is, because you can play the games off your extended storage. So what I would advise is to leave space on the PlayStation because it downloads faster than it would to your external hard drive. So if you leave space on the PlayStation and download games to your PlayStation, it'll download faster. So all the games that you play the least, take them off and put them on your extended storage. So this way, all you, when you want to play them, all you got to do is stick your extended storage back in and then you can play the games.